you. It looks like we have a lot of couples here tonight. Um, have you ever had that thing happen, like when your spouse will send you to the store to buy something very specific, but then like as soon as you get there, you just completely forget why you got married? <laughs> Happens, right? <laughs> we have two young kids now, and that will change you. Uh, now that I have a wife and two young daughters, I've become a feminist, 100%. Um, like, how can I not support women's rights when I own three of them? <laughs> okay, most of you remember this is a comedy show. Good. Good. I do have two young daughters. When the second was born, all of our friends gave us the same piece of advice. They said you need to treat both kids exactly the same. No. It doesn't happen. I feel like you treat the first kid the way that you would treat like a package that you marked fragile. And you treat the second kid like how the UPS would treat that package. <laughs> Just throw it on the truck, we have other packages. Let's get to lunch. Treat them the same. We learned that we couldn't do that, even in the process that we used to pick out their names. Our first daughter, she was born in New York City at a hospital on Madison Avenue, and we named her Madison. That's cute. Our second daughter was born in Ohio at a hospital on Dick Smith Avenue. <laughs> That's gonna be a weird first day of school for little Dick Smith. That does not sound like a good name for your precious daughter. It just sounds like somebody that's selling sex toys at a renaissance fair or something. It's also, it's just tough to get as excited, too, the second time around, you know? Like, I remember the first time my wife told me she was pregnant. It was this huge emotional dinner, it was awesome. The second time she told me she was pregnant, it was just in a text. She just sent me a picture of a positive pregnancy test. And I remember looking at that just thinking like, wow, I really hope she meant to send this to somebody else. <laughs> but that was our little Dick Smith, so here we are. <laughs> she is a tough kid. I'll give her credit for that. I learned this before she was born. Because the first ultrasound, she started out as twins. Second ultrasound, she was not twins. <laughs> When she was born, she had a tiny teardrop tattoo under her eye. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know you do not mess with Dick Smith. That kid means business. It's not ready, uh, it's not ready for it, I guess. Like, you're expected to know what to do, like, as soon as you become a parent. I was not ready. I remember being, even in the delivery room, the doctor turned to me and was like, okay, grab a leg. I was like, oh no, I actually don't work here. <laughs> I am her ride home, that's it. I'm just like a friendly Uber, that's my job here. You're just supposed to know what to do. My oldest, uh, Madison's five, and we were leaving one of her soccer games recently. And there was a boy on the other team that had this big dog. And he was like, do you guys want to pet my dog? He's going to heaven today. <laughs> yeah, I was not ready for that. I was hoping my daughter didn't hear it, but we got to the car and she's devastated, she's crying. She's like, daddy, why did he say that? What does he mean? And I just decided to be honest with her. I was like, sweetie, I am so sorry, but this is what happens when you don't try hard enough at soccer. <laughs> So good at soccer. That kid's getting a scholarship. Kids are fun. I, if there's one thing that I've learned about being a parent with young children, it's that you get so locked into these roles as like mom and dad that you kind of neglect the roles as husband and wife a little bit. And one day, my wife started wearing this new perfume. Right, we would cross paths in the kitchen. I would pick up just the tiniest whiff of lavender, 
And that is all it took just to snap me out of dad mode back into husband mode. For a brief half a second, my wife and I were the only two people on the planet. It was amazing. I started falling in love with her all over again. It was beautiful. It took me two days to realize that there was no new perfume. I was smelling the new lavender-scented trash bags we bought for the kitchen. <laughs> is a low point in a marriage when you find out that you got catfished by Hefty. That's it for me. Thank you, guys.